Hey, I'd like to give you a quick overview of Go Maps. So I'm going to launch the file. So it's going to leave us here in list view, uh, which is the default view for Go Maps. Just gives you a great overview of all your properties in a simple list form. Um, great way to find something specific that you might be looking for. Uh, but really, what I like is the map view. So let's check out the map view. So I'm going to touch on the map button in the top right corner there. And this is going to give us a, a quick overview of, of our entire map, uh, all the properties on the map. You'll notice a few things off the bat. We have a nice border here around our map area, and that's user definable. We define this border uh, just to be around the Seattle area. And then within that, if I zoom in here, you can see the red borders around our different areas, and those are also user definable. Uh, so you can see the areas here on the left hand side, all areas, North Seattle, Northeast Seattle. Uh, we specified those. Uh, that's just local to where we are here, but those can be anything. Those could be you know, school districts, delivery areas, neighborhoods like we did here, different states, different countries. Uh, it doesn't really matter you know, what those are, uh, but they're, they're a way to break up your map into different, different areas. And the borders are entirely optional too. You don't need to do borders, uh, but they're there and they're user definable color, thickness, and of course, you know, what the area of the border includes. So let's take a look here. Let's, uh, for example, touch on North Seattle, and I can show you how this works. We're going to get a nice little zoom feature like you just saw. It zooms right into the area, shows us the, the border for North Seattle. Uh, we remove everything else, so you're just looking at North Seattle with its border. We don't see all the other areas when we, when we specifically view uh, that area. And then we can do the same thing for Northeast Seattle here too. We have filters, uh, which are a great way to filter down your properties. So if I uh, filter by status, for example, I can filter this to only show uh, properties that have a status of begun. And those are represented in our case with the green icon. All the icons are user definable too. So any image that you can add to a FileMaker container field, you can use as a map marker icon. Very customizable, very cool. So we can see, for example, all the condos that have begun. And in this case, there's none in Northeast Seattle. So we'll go to all areas. And we actually only have one property <laughs> that uh, has begun that is a condo. Um, so not very many to show there. But it gives you a great idea of how those filters uh, can be used to really narrow down what you're looking for. So let's go to all again. It's just going to load all the properties back up, how, how it was when we first came to the map. Uh, so if, if we touch on a property, so I'll just kind of zoom in here and uh, it'll redraw. And then we're going to just touch on that pin and we get a nice little popover, uh, Google-esque popover. And these are all fields that have been defined in FileMaker to display in this popover. So very powerful. Any, any data that you have in FileMaker, anything that you can calculate or set with a script, into a field you can view uh, in this popover, including the image. The image uh, was taken from a FileMaker container field. So uh, any, anything you can pop into a container field, or any image you can pop into a container field, uh, you're going to be able to view in this popover also. So some of the things we can do once we're here in this popover is we can actually view the record where this came from uh, on a FileMaker layout. So I'm going to touch on view record down in the bottom left of that popover. And it's going to take us right to that record in FileMaker Go here, and this is displaying it within a FileMaker Go layout. So we can then you know, edit any information we want to edit. If we wanted to change uh, the address, we could change the address. Or in this case, if we wanted to change the type to, let's say it's uh, uh, mixed use, and the status is uh, that we've begun inspection, we'll leave the neighborhood the same. Then we can go back to the map. It's going to save those changes for us and that property will now uh, have those changes specified. 